Welcome to your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Be sure to check out your exclusive discount offer at the end of your free lesson. You can easily create a form in a web page by first clicking into the location in the page at which you would like to insert the form and then choosing Insert Form and the Form command from the side menu which appears if you're using Dreamweaver 8 or MX2004. If you're using Dreamweaver MX, you would simply choose Insert and then directly choose Form from the menu bar. In either version, you could also display the Forms button set from the Insert toolbar or panel and then simply click the Form button within the toolbar or panel to insert a form into the selected area of the web page. Now the form will appear as a dotted red box spanning the web page. All of the text boxes, buttons, and other form objects which you would like to include as part of the form must be placed inside of this area in order to be used by the form. You can set the properties of the form by clicking into the form and then changing any of the available settings shown in the properties panel. You can type a name for your form into the form name text box at the left end of the properties panel if you'd like. You can then set the script that will be performed when the user clicks the submit button by either typing the pathway to the script into the action text box or by clicking the small folder button at the right end of the action text box. If you click the small folder button, it'll launch the select file dialog box where you can navigate to the local copy of your script, select it, and then click OK to enter the pathway into the action text box. You can then set the method used to transmit the data from the form by using the method dropdown. A common method to use is the post method. However, you can also associate scripts with the get method as well. If you specify default from the dropdown, the method used will be determined by the visitor's web browser, and this is typically the get method. You can optionally specify a MIME encoding of the data submitted by the form by choosing a selection from the ENC type dropdown. The application XWWW form URL encode encryption type is typically specified when a post method is used. The multi-part um, multi form data type is typically used if you're creating a file upload field. If necessary, you can specify into which frame of a framed site the results of the submitted form should appear. And to do this, you would use the target dropdown to select one of the frame choices displayed. If you're using a framed website, you'll see all of your frame names as well as the default frame choices. Now once you've created the form and set its properties, you can then add the necessary form fields and buttons into the form. However, before you start adding labels, text boxes, and buttons to the form, you may want to consider creating a table into which you can then insert those form elements. You can control the appearance and placement of the objects within a form with much more precision by placing them into a table cells. Most web forms use a table with hidden borders within the form for this purpose. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Like what you see? Pick up your copy of our complete tutorial today and be sure to visit us at www.teachucomp.com slash YouTube for your special bonus offer. Our complete tutorial featuring introductory through advanced material is available on CD-ROM or digital download. You will receive our high quality video lessons plus printable instruction manuals in one easy to use training package. With over two dozen titles to choose from, you'll be sure to find the training you need in Microsoft Office, QuickBooks, Photoshop, and much more. Visit us today!